During the Second World War, there were many concentration camps where thousands of people were executed and killed. The SS guards were horrifically violent and terrifying, and guards such as Irma Grazer, Josef Kramer and Elisabeth Falkenrath became infamous for their treatment of prisoners. Many were trigger happy and would shoot inmates without a second's hesitation to just enforce that they were in control. But reigns of terror were initiated at many camps. Ravensbrück was an all-female concentration camp where during its time in operation around 132,000 people were held behind the barbed wire fences. There was one gas chamber there which was in operation and around 2,200 would die inside this room. But there were up to 50,000 who were also killed. But inside of Ravensbrück was one nun and a woman who sacrificed herself and gave her own life to save the life of others. The story of Elise Rive is one which deserves to be remembered. Join us today as we look at this and remember as always to support our channel. Please make sure to subscribe. Elise Rive was born on the 19th of January 1890 and her father was a French naval officer. Her father died in 1910 and she then moved with her mother to Lyon in France. Whilst here, Elise worked inside of a hair salon for a number of years, before she then joined the convent of the Medical Sisters of Notre Dame de Compassion, inside the city in 1912. She would continue to study and live inside of the nunnery, and she became a well thought of member of the religious order. In 1933, she became known as Mere Marie Elisabeth de Eucharisti, the mother superior of the convent where she was living. With this she became the highest ranking nun inside the order, and she was incredibly well respected. She remained as a mother superior for over a decade, however as the Second World War broke out, her world would be turned upside down. The German army would invade France, and the Wehrmacht's speed and might quickly overwhelmed the French forces, and within six weeks the French had surrendered to the Germans. The remaining members of the British Expeditionary Force, along with the remnants of the French and Belgian armies, were rescued from Dunkirk in Operation Dynamo. But then the country fell under German occupation, and the Wehrmacht would regularly deal with elements of resistance, and the civilians were forced to work for the German war effort. Many of these were forced to work in factories and other industries that made munitions and vehicles and aircraft for the enemy forces. As the Germans flocked into France, Elise Rive and her order began to hide people who were fleeing from the Gestapo and the Nazis. They also housed refugees who were being persecuted, and this in the Germans' eyes was treason and a crime which was punishable by death. Eventually Elise's nunnery went further, and they also began to store weapons and ammunition for the French resistance, and her convent became a place where the resistance would stockpile their munitions. However, on the 24th of March 1944, as the war was beginning to turn against the Germans following their defeat on the Eastern Front at Stalingrad, the Gestapo began to investigate Elise Rive and her nunnery. She, along with her assistant, were raided by the Gestapo, and she was then taken to Montluc prison inside of Lyon. Elise Rive was interrogated inside of the prison, and she was then transported to Romanville, before she was then deported to Ravensbrück concentration camp near to Berlin. Ravensbrück, as mentioned, was an all-female concentration camp, and life here was very tough for the inmates and women who were in prison there. Some detainees had their heads shaved, and one former inmate said of the camp, They didn't shoot the women. We were to die of misery, hunger, and exhaustion. When we arrived at Ravensbrück, it was the worst. The first thing I saw was a cart, with all the dead piled on it, their arms and legs hanging out, and mouths and eyes wide open. They reduced us to nothing. We didn't even feel like we had the value of cattle. You worked and you died. There were many Nazi experiments that occurred there also, and the forced labour the women were subjected to was incredibly hard-working and brutal. If a woman could not complete this well, then she was often killed, with guards armed with their pistols shooting them straight away. The bodies of those killed were then cremated in the crematoria outside the camp, but then one was built at Ravensbrück, such was the sheer amount of women who were dying there. As mentioned, up to 50,000 people died inside the barbed wire fences, and there was a huge amount of suffering. Elise Rive, when she was at Ravensbrück, was stripped of her religious clothing and her nun's habit, 
and she was forced to wear the standard clothes for the inmates of the concentration camp. This must have led to her feeling like she lost her identity, but regular selections were taking place at Ravensbrück for women who were not fit enough to work. These were often done in the roll call yards, then the women were sent to the gas chambers, where they were killed within minutes of being selected. During one selection, Elise Rive, who was stood with the other women on the 30th of March 1945, made a decision that would change her life. A woman who was a mother had been selected to die, and she was wailing as she knew that this meant she would be killed and that she would never see her children again. But amazingly, Elise Rive then spoke to the SS officials and guards, and she would then volunteer to go to her death in the gas chambers, in place of the mother who had been selected. This was a miraculous act, as she knew she would be killed, but to save someone else, she offered to go to her death. She was then taken to the gas chambers immediately, and along with a number of other women, she was forced into the gas chamber. Whilst inside she would have comforted the other women as she faced death, as the gas was turned on. Elise Rive was 55 years old when she was brutally killed inside of a concentration camp, where so many others lost their lives. She was one of 50,000 inside of Ravensbrück that succumbed to their fate, and she would die within a matter of weeks before the Second World War would be over, as the Nazis offered their unconditional surrender. After the war, she was honoured with a portrait of herself on a postage stamp, and many streets were named after her. Elise Rive was a caring and compassionate woman, who was very well thought of inside of her convent, and she was a woman who would give everything to save other women. Her compassion and honesty led to her being sent to the gas chambers, and she became one of millions of victims of the Nazis. Thanks for watching. To support our channel, please make sure to subscribe, and once again, thank you so much for watching.